Good morning, you guys. Let's start with a nice little warm up. What I want you to do is go ahead and open up your feet about double shoulder width, draw the shoulders back, reach the arms up as high as you can, gentle sweep and reach. And so inhale down, exhale up, up to you how low you go, reach as high as you can. A few more times. One more. Now open and rotate. I want you to take that right foot and rotate here and line up your hips as much as you can. If it feels comfortable, draw your head looking up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the arms both reaching in opposite directions. Gently push up, soften that knee and create one line here between your heel and your fingertip. Take your bottom hip and rotate it forward to line up the hip with the arms. Again, you can look towards that hand or the corner. You can look directly in front of you, but try to line up the shoulders. Release that hand and gently push back. Let's rotate the feet the other way. So heel in the instep, reach nice and long, and just line up those shoulders. Take a nice inhale, you guys. If rotating that neck is just not comfortable, look straight in front of you. Look to the floor without allowing that hip to rotate forward. Take that big breath in. Think about creating as much space between your fingers as you can. Push up to the back and then soften the knee, tuck the elbow and a nice big reach right through the side. We don't want to lose the neck, so we're going to relax here. Bottom hip tucks. Feel that nice opening in the hip flexor. And then release back up. I want you to go ahead here and draw your hands down either to your quads or to the floor. Now really lengthen that spine, allow the crown of the head to come down towards that floor. If it's comfortable, interlace at your hands. Let's stir a pot here. Inhale, exhale. So allow the posterior part of the body to open and relax, head, neck, and shoulders, nice and soft and release. Now rewind it the other way. Inhale, exhale. Feel that nice stretch in the hamstrings. Now gently take your hands and wrap behind your head without making and just give a gentle pull. Nice deep breath in. Allow it to hang and relax. Inhale. Exhale. One more big breath. Soften the knees. Release the hands. Take your hands to the knees and lengthen and push back up. Very good. Let's go ahead and take your hands on the knees and just exaggerate that rotation. Open and then circle it in. Take some nice deep breaths here, you guys. As we go through the movements, if 100 of something is too much, you do 90 or 80. As we go down, it will go quickly. So if there's a move that you don't want to do for the amount that we're going to do, pick something else that works for you. Take that nice inhale. And then really exaggerate the opening of the chest. Just spread your wings back. Inhale and exhale. Now rewind it, bring it all the way back and sweep all the way forward. So really lengthen those arms without shrugging your shoulders. And then interlace at your hands and exaggerate. Rotate those hands away and then circle them in. How frequently we use our hands and how rarely we stretch out the wrist. Go ahead and roll the neck. So I want you to go ear to shoulder and just a little chin to chest. Without rotating backwards, just feel that stretch along the side. Maybe one side is tighter than the other. So when we get started, you guys, we're gonna start with the Pilates 100. That is from the floor. There's a lot of breathing involved. And we're gonna go through, if it doesn't work, I would have a seat on the chair and I could do maybe 180, 90 marches to use the app. So 
from this position on the floor, I want you guys to think about a few things. You're zipping up your rib cage. So think about that line right down the middle, zipping up through the rib cage and pulling the belly button in. As we inhale, the palms are going to be up. And as you exhale, the palms are going to be down. Okay, so we're really going to be trying to really use those arms as much as we can. And then if you need to take a break, you're going to take it. Okay, so we're going to come all the way down. I'll show you the movements first. So I can always keep my head down if lifting it up doesn't work for me. I can also tabletop my shins. So I can come from this position, but it's kind of hard to really get your arms activated. So if you can, shoulder blades lifted, palms up, you inhale for five through your nose, and then exhale for five and really force that air out, zip up that rib cage. Now, if I can, I'm gonna lengthen the legs. I can even drop them to a 45, but you need to be comfortable with your back, dropping the legs to whatever point works. I don't want you to tuck your chin into your chest because you're gonna stop, prevent yourself from breathing. So I want you to lengthen here, rotate the shoulders back. As I lift, it's just my shoulder blades coming off. I'm not tucking the chin, the shoulders are back. I could even use one hand and then alternate if need be. But I'd like you to try this from here. We inhale through the nose for five and exhale through the mouth for five. And we go through that and do that for the count of 100, okay? So shoulders back, belly button in. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. Keep that chin up the chest, pull the belly button in. Inhale. Exhale. Really force the air out. Inhale. And exhale. Five more times, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really draw the energy out. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. And exhale. Two more times, you guys. Make it count. Inhale. And exhale. Shoulder blades lifted. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, and rest. Draw the head down, open up the arms, and give yourself a nice big stretch here. Just draw the knees all the way over, pick a side. Relax and lengthen the arm, extend it away. Deep breath in, you guys feel that stretch in your low back. And then rotate those knees to the other side. So nice big breath in, I'm gonna lengthen and reach the arm as far away, relax to the shoulder. And I want your neck to be comfortable. You can look straight up or in the direction of your knee. Come back to that center for a moment, draw the bottom of the feet together, knees open, interlace through the palms, and then give that torso a big stretch. So I want you to relax the low back. Same as those knees. As you draw the arms up, don't shrug the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Feel that nice lengthen through that torso, through the inner thigh. And then go ahead from here, bend the knees, and we're going to roll over into that fetal position to gently push ourselves up. All right, so we're on 90. And what we're going to do now our 90 jumping jacks. We're going to do 10 in each direction and then rotate backwards. So if again, if it doesn't work, I would do that nice little step tap, shoulders back. Here we go. Two, four, six. We're going to go to the left first, eight. Here we go. Two and four. Don't shrug. Six, eight. Rotate. Two. Four, six, eight, rotate it again. If your calves get tired, you need to step or jog in place. Another option, rotate, inhale, and exhale. Either way, keep moving. We're gonna rotate now to the right. Three, five, seven, rotate it. Two, four, six, Eight. Again, nice big breath. Keep that chin on the shelf. Eight. One more time, you guys. Four. Six. Eight. 
and give that a rest. One knee up, other knee up, if you wanna give it a little pull. Exhale, nice big breaths, you guys. So we're gonna go next, we've got 80. We're gonna go to a lunge, 40 and 40. We'll do 20 on one side, 20 on the other. Come back, if I need to use a chair, walk or balance, I will. If I feel comfortable adding some weight to this, I'm going to. So shoulders back. When I step, I'm hip distance. Step back, bicep curl, lift up the knee. Bicep, two. Now keep those hips square. Three, you can keep your back leg straight and work on opening up your hip flexor, not even coming all the way down. Five. If I can, I'm gonna drive that knee up. Use the abdominal muscles. Seven. Exhale, eight. Very good, you guys. Nine. Now I'm gonna stay low, either in my lunge or I'm gonna pulse here with that leg straight. One, two, three. Elbows to the point. Four, five, six. Great job, you guys. You can drop your knee, keep your leg straight. Eight, nine, and 10. First 20, just like that. Let's switch legs. Hip distance, maybe one side feels a little easier. Step back here. Curl, drive the knee up. And two, keep your elbows close. Three, you sink that energy down and back four, as much as works for you. Five, exhale, six, seven, hip distance, you guys. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Now stay with me here. Either keep it straight or bend the knee. One, two, keep the elbows close. Four, very good, you guys, six, eight, and 40. Take a moment, exaggerate the hip movement, and rewind it. Very good, you guys. So I want you to take one weight. If you have an option to go heavier, you're going to do it. As I step through, as I step back, I'm gonna drive that weight through that front knee. Here we go. One, two, three. I can still keep my back leg straight four, or I can bend the knee five. Six, pressure that front heel. Seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm gonna stick with it one more time and pulse the arms. One, two, three. Press to that front heel floor. Don't shrug your shoulders. Push the weight together. Eight, and relax it. Great job, you guys. One more time, we're gonna stretch out those quads. So step back here. You're gonna pass the weight through and back up. One, two, three. Now keep the crown of your head facing the ceiling. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine, one more. Now stick with it one more time and pulse. Elbows close, push through that weight. Four, six, eight, and 10. Great job, you guys. Now, to open up the quad, I can take one leg and place it on the chair. I can hold on to the wall. If that's comfortable, I'm gonna drive from here and hold on to that foot and try to balance and line up my legs. Nice inhale, big exhale. Great work, you guys. Lengthen, I can use the chair if I want to, or just hinge and come from the floor. Nice deep breath in. I'm gonna lengthen the spine. The chin is coming towards the knee. Take that big breath in. If I don't wanna use that chair, I'm gonna sink that energy down. 
Now we're going to switch quads. Take from here. Either hold on, bring it behind you on that chair. Find your center of balance. Take that nice big breath, you guys. We we'll always want to find that balance between stretching and strengthening. Lengthen and hinge. Contract that quad to lengthen and open through the hamstring. Big breath here, you guys. More comfortable, I can settle down here. Really sink that energy back. So we are on 70, you guys. Now we're gonna do 70 mountain climbers. That's not my thing. I can do it from standing up. I can stick to one leg for 10, one leg to switch back and forth. I can also come from the chair. I can step or I can jog, or I'm gonna come all the way from the floor. Okay, so we're gonna do increments of 30, and then we'll take a quick break just to finish off that last 10. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. You get into the position that works best for you. Take that nice inhale, you're in the plank, your palms are under your shoulders, your neck's in neutral. Here we go. Lead with your left, two, four, six, eight, 10. It's okay if you have to go slower, two, four, six, eight, 20, two, four, neck in neutral, six, eight, and 30. I'm gonna push back down dog or drop into child pose. Now I'm gonna switch knees. So if I'm standing up, I'm drawing knees, leading with the opposite knee first. Here we go, next 30, two, four, six, eight, 10, keep your abs in, two, neck in neutral, four, six, eight, 10 more, two, four, six, eight, and rest, push back, child pose, Child pose doesn't work, puppy pose. Take that nice deep breath in. You need to drop to your elbows, settle into that. For the last 10, I'm gonna do five leading with the left, reset, five leading with the right, finish off those 70. Deep breath here, you guys. Here we go, five, four, three, Two, reset, and other knee. Five, four, three, two, and reset. Take the knees to the outer edge here. Walk your feet together, and then try to sink down. You can come to your elbows. Take a great big breath in here. Great big breath out. Inhale, exhale. Very good, you guys. We're on 60. We're gonna hit the mat again and do our next little crunch move. If it does not work, I can sit on the chair and draw the elbow to the opposite knee. I can also do that from standing up. Now, if leaning, just leaning is enough, I can pull here and lift up my top leg. I can come from the floor and I can lift like this, or I could come all the way up. But the movement is going to be cross the bottom foot to the top, bend the knee back, tuck the elbow under the shoulder. The head stays in one space, but I'm gonna to try to drive my foot towards the elbow. I'm not gonna to try to crunch and pull and yank on my neck. I'm gonna keep that head in one space and draw it up, okay? So lean back. You don't have a big butt, you guys. You gotta rotate back a little bit on that meteor part of the bun or take a little pillow under your glutes. Here we go. One, two, three. Exhale, lift it. Four, five, and six. Now really crunch the oblique. Seven, eight. Doesn't matter how high you go. Your goal is in that oblique. Top of the movement, pulse it. One, 
three, five, seven, nine, and rest it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up here to that T and give that back a big stretch, you guys. Open it up, inhale, exhale. Now again, you assume the position that works best for you. I'm gonna tuck the elbow, take the bottom foot to the top. Two, two count now. Up for two, down for two, nice and slow. Really focus here on that oblique. Shoulders lined up, three, two. Keep it out of your neck, four. Exhale as you lift your thighs, five. Six, two, doesn't work. Seven, I don't have to cross. Eight, I can keep the bottom knee. Nine, 10, two, pulse it. One, two, and four. Squeeze and lift, you guys. Six, this is eight, two more. And relax it oh, one more time. Open it up to that T. Now try to lengthen that leg and open up through your IT band. Give it a big stretch there. If you need to go between bending and lengthening, you do what works best, you guys. Now we have one more time. This is bonus because not only are we focusing here on the oblique, but that bun really starts to burn. We're taking that pressure here of the ankle and adding that weight to the lift. Now, up for three, down for one. Tuck the elbow in, hand behind the head. One, two, three, release. Two, if you need to lean back a little bit, do it. Three, two, three, close your eyes. Four, focus on your obliques, the side of your abs. Five, six, two, and three, seven. Exhale it up, you guys. Eight, two, three, we're so close. Nine, one more time. Quick rest here. 10 mini pulses, you guys. Rest if you need to. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, work it. Five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Great job, you guys. Now I'm gonna come to all the way back to that T one more time, but I'm gonna rotate onto my back and I'm gonna cross here that right, whichever leg was on top. I'm gonna cross it over that number four. Now, just sitting like this could be plenty. I can ease into this stretch, stay here. I could thread the needle if that's comfortable and just draw that left chin up so that it's parallel. Inhale. And exhale. Nice big breath, you guys. Now I'm gonna cross that knee over. So just like my spinal twist, I'm gonna open here and drop those knees towards you. So if I have that right knee on top, I'm rotating to the left. Deep breath in, feel that nice stretch here through the hip. And take one more big breath in you guys. And then rotate back to the center, uncross. And then one more time, fetal position on that side, and then gently push yourself up. All right, so let's finish nice and strong as we come to the other side. Again, if I need to find a modified move, I can do it from sitting, I can do the standing weight move from the side, I can adjust all of these movements from the floor without adding that weight. So I'm gonna bend, Make sure the elbow is tucked in. Keep any tension here out of the neck and rotate back. Bottom foot crosses to the top. And one, two, sit back if you need two, three. Exhale, squeeze, four, five, and six, and seven. No tension here, you guys. Eight, lift with your oblique, nine. Now top of the movement, pulse it two, and four, six, eight, and a quick little rest. Tabletop, open it up to that T, 
and take a great big breath in, you guys. Open, release. Now there's always going to be one side when we do this that's going to make it really obvious that we have more flexibility in the hip, in the back, in the body. So cross from here. If the leg does not come all the way up, also you just worked it so maybe it's really tight. Then you go to your point and then you ease back, go to the edge of the cliff and don't jump off it. Now it's going to be a two-two count. Exhale up, lean back if you need to. One, two, down one, and two, two. Exhale for three, and four, two. Crunch it in, five, two, six, two, seven, and eight. Exhale to left, nine, one more, and 10. Quick little rest, 10 pulses at the top of the movement. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two, and rest it again. Open it up, you guys, and take that nice deep breath in. Lengthen those arms, feel a nice stretch here through your low back and your hips. Adjust the move so that it works for you. We have one more time. Tuck the elbow, cross it, bring it back. Lean back if you need to, up for three. One, two, three, down one, two. Exhale as you come up, three. Really focus here on that oblique, four. As high as you can lift it, five, six, two, three, seven, almost there you guys, eight, two, three, and nine, you got this right here, 10, two, and three, rest it, and let's finish it strong right here with 10 pulses, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, crunch it up now, four, three, two, and relax it again onto your back. If this stretch feels best, relax those knees over. If you feel like you want to come to the number four, rotate the knees to the ceiling, left ankle right over that right knee. I feel that right away here. I can thread the needle if it works. Usually after this move, that hip is really locked up and very fatigued. So just lifting it can be hard. So you always adjust. If you feel like crossing the knee is too much, modify the move and take and extend your leg out. There are plenty of ways you can modify. You're gonna cross here at your knees like you're crossing your legs. Open up the arms to that T and then draw your knees right towards me and relax through your low back. Take a nice deep breath in. Feel that stretch through the oblique and through the hip. So we're getting both of those targeted areas in this stretch, as long as it works for you. If not, uncross. Great work, you guys. Okay, so go ahead, once again, fetal position to the side, gently push yourself up, and then we're gonna go ahead and come back up to a standing. Now, I want you to give me a quick little stretch here. I can come with that hip distance apart stretch. I can just barely tuck my pelvis under and get a little stretch here from my hip flexor. I'm not gonna round into it. I'm standing nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. From here, just a tiny tilt. Or if I feel comfortable, I can lengthen and open. Take that nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Open up the arms. You can sink as low as you want to. You can drop down to your knee. I just want to show you some variations. You can lift up if this works. Find that center of balance. Wherever you are at, you can just add a tiny tilt here and work that. Now we're going to switch to that other leg. Step back. Feel that nice stretch here. I can just stand here. I don't have to go very far. Add the tiny tilt. Just take from here that tiny tilt of the pelvis, 
Feel that nice stretch here. If you want to lengthen the back leg, draw the energy up. All of these options, I can drop all the way down to the floor. Find that center of balance. Okay, all of these things. You can get more into the quadricep, into that hip flexor. All right, you guys, now five zero. So we've got 50 burpees. So what we're gonna do here, you're gonna use that chair if you need to. And what we're gonna do first, you guys, is we're gonna go front snap kick, right, left, and then into that burpee and back up. If it doesn't work, I can stick with my front snap kicks and add a little squat. I adjust the movement, I do it using the chair. This one's a little hard to use the chair because you're gonna have to adjust it every time. But do what works for you, okay? So the first 10 with the front snap kick, leading with your right first. Right, left, burpee, back up. Right, left, and two. Now you can step back, step back, and three. Right, left. Four, right, left, five, right, left, six. Nice deep breaths, you guys. Here we go. Seven, right, left. That's eight, right, and left. Nine, right. Left and 10. Take a moment. Open up your hips. Rewind it. Big breath. Reach. Open. One more. Now you're in a front snap kick with your left and right. And one. Left, right. Two, when you jump back, keep your abdominal muscles nice and tight. Three, left, right. Four, remember you don't have to come all the way down. Go to your squat. Five, right, left, six. Try to kick as high as you can. Here we go. Seven, right. Left, sorry, left, right. Eight, left, right. Nine, one more, left and right. And 10, take another big breath in. Open, take that energy right down low. Roll the shoulders back. Give me a tiny push here. Inhale. Exhale, catch your breath, rotate. Other side. Back to the center, push it open. Inhale, exhale. Now, when we come back and come back up, three jumping jacks. I'm gonna come back and do three jacks from the floor, come back up and do three jacks again from standing. If that doesn't work, I've got my jumping jacks. I can modify the movement. Just keep moving, you guys, okay? So three jacks first. One, two, three. Now I'm going to step back jack. One, two, three. Jump back in. Jumping jack. One, two, three. Here we go. Back in. One, two, three. Sorry, I forgot to jack back here. One, two, three. Jump back in. One, two, three. Step or jump back, Jack. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Here we go, you guys. Jack, two, three. You can stay back and jack in that plank the whole time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, 
One, you guys are doing awesome. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Three more. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one. Use the chair. Two more. Three, two, one. Three, two, one more. Three, two, one. Three, two, and one. Great job. Open. Keep your heart higher than your head. Reach and lengthen. Bend the knees. Open and extend. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck. Inhale. Exhale. Other side. Gentle rotation. Tuck. Reach. And open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. All right, you guys, that was 30 burpees. Now, if I need to use my chair for the tadpole, I will come to that modified movement. Back, back, in, in, squat low if I can. Stay low with it. All right, if I can. I'm really gonna be working that deep squat and rotating through those hips, you guys. Meet yourself where you're at. So right here, I'm gonna take the hands to the floor, jump back, jump in, and I'm gonna try to stay low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Nine, this is a lot, one more. And lengthen. Now I'm gonna open up here to that hip flexor. Hinge back, tiny tuck, shoulders back. Feel that stretch there. Sink the energy down. Switch feet, tiny tuck. Feel that nice stretch here. Doesn't need to be big. Sink if you want to. The last 10, you guys, we're gonna jump with the feet together. Open them up and jump up tall, okay? So when I jump back, abdominal muscles tight, the feet are gonna come close. Before I come back up, jump, actually, when I jump up, I'm gonna jump wide, okay? So shoulders back, belly button in, feet together. Jump up wide, reach up one. Together, jump wide. Two. Three, awesome, together. Four, inhale, exhale, five. We're so close, you guys. This is six, four more. Seven, eight, last two, nine, one more, and 10. Fantastic work, you guys. I want you to come to either from sitting or standing, number four, and sink of that energy down low. Great job, you guys. Good news, we only have 40 to do. Sink and not burpees. Switch to the other side. Cross, pull it in, and sink that energy down. You can do this from sitting, you can do this from lying down. So if I need to use the chair to help me with my plie, I'll take that chair directly in front of me. 
The more that I can rotate the toes out, the more I'm going to target the inner thigh. If I choose and want to add a little weight to this, when I come down and up, I'll come to that bicep curl, shoulders back, belly button comes in. So as I come down, curl, one and two. Now dig your heels down, three, four, nice and tall, you guys, five and six, and the elbows to the side, seven, eight, nine, hold it in the middle, pulse it. One, two, like a statue, chins on that shelf, shoulders tucked back, four, three, two, give it a nice little rest. Hinge from your hip, rotate down into that right. Don't let your body collapse. Rotate down to that left. Now, as I come back to that plie, I'm gonna take a little sand here if I can on that right tip toe. So now as I come down, lateral raise. I don't want you to come higher than your shoulders. Bend at your elbows if you need to. So one and two. Now squeeze your shoulders. Three, exhale, four. Fantastic job, you guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Quick little rest, roll the shoulders back. Now for the minis, I can hold the arms in one place or pulse. Two, four, great job, you guys. Six, eight, rest it again. Lengthen down the middle, rotate. Nice long spine, contract the quadriceps. Other side. Now I'm gonna come up here on that left tip toe. As much as I can, I'm going to angle out. Now we're going to come to an overhead press when we come up. So down and up. One, two, and three. Remember, you're not shrugging the shoulders as you come up. Four, and five, and six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more. Now we're going to stay low with it here. If you can, pulse halfway. One, two, three, just a goal post. Four, five, sink into that. Press through the heel, inner five push. Three, two, and one. Lengthen one more time. Hinge, rotate. Now the last one to make it 40 is gonna be on both tiptoes or both heels, okay? So I'm gonna pop it up here, shoulders come back. I want you to, if you can, open and squeeze your scapula down and up. So you're gonna keep your elbows in and pinch and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Down, squeeze, up one. Squeeze, two. Now nice and tall, three. Think about your posture here, you guys. Four, this really helps to build that strength. Five, keep your shoulders rotated back. Six, squeeze. Seven, exhale. Eight, open. Nine, one more. Now stay low and pulse. Two, three, and four, five, Six, too much on your toes, drop. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Great job, you guys. Go up all the way down here. Hinge from the hip. Reach the arms all the way to the corner. If I need to use a chair to lean on, great. If I can come all the way down, heart stays high if you feel like your heart's elevated. If you feel like you can come all the way down, Lengthen and take a nice deep breath in. Contract the quadricep. Soften that knee and just a little lateral lunge. Feel that nice little stretch here through the hip flexor. Lengthen, rotate, hinge from the hip. Draw the arms up and out. Nice inhale. 
Sink the energy down low, contract. Take a great big breath in you guys. Bend the knee, feel that little lateral stretch here. So we're gonna come back down to the ground. If coming up and down and all that jazz doesn't work for you, no worries. We're gonna come to a bicycle crunch, okay? I can come from here and reach to the corner, reach to the side. I can open up like so. I can come down to the ground and do that bicycle, you guys. So we only have 30 of these to do, okay? So I'm gonna take my hands and interlace them, place behind my head. Level one, I can tap one foot, tap the other, and rotate. Now, if I feel comfortable, I'm gonna rotate through the shoulder, not the elbow, from that right to the left, and then alternate. One, now the leg can go much higher if I need it to. Two, or tap it to the floor. Three, four. Now, don't forget to exhale. Push the air out and zip up your belly button, rib cage together. Four more. Four, three, two, one, two, hold on three. One, two, hold. Two, two, hold. Three, two, open up here your elbows, you guys. Keep the tension out of your neck. Four, two, three, five, two, three, open. Six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, one more. Now the last 10, as fast as you can, hold in your four. One, two, Three, rotate, push through those heels. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And give that a rest, you guys. Awesome work, I'm gonna draw my knees in and give a little circle. Now, if you have physical therapy move you need to do, if you have a stretch that works well for you, always modify everything that we do so that it works, you guys. Take the bottom of your feet together, stretch out the inner thighs that you're just working, interlace through the palm, reach. If that doesn't work, I lengthen one leg and just relax the other leg out. Adjust every stretch and every movement so that it works for you. You get that deepest possible stretch. Nice inhale, big exhale. Okay, so we're on to 20. So we're gonna roll over and then just gently sit up here. Now, we're gonna do 20 Russian twists. I can use one weight here. I can take a pillow or the Pilates ball and place it right behind my back. I can sit up tall and out of rotation. The further I come back, the more that I'm gonna target those obliques. The entire body needs to rotate. So shoulders back. Lean back as far as you can and rotate. I'm gonna tap my elbow, so if you can, you will. Three, exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick rest up. Now I'm just gonna go five to the right and then five to the left. Shoulders back, deep breath in, five, four, three, two. Now other side, five, four, three, two, and one. Open it up, lengthen your legs, reach for the sky and come all the way forward. Take a deep breath in, not comfortable. I can sit up here and flex my feet, feel that nice stretch. Now, when we finish, we don't just do 10, you guys, we go back to 100, okay? If 100 planks doesn't sound really appealing to you, you can hold the wall squat for 100. You could also do um, 100 back to um, jogging in place jump rope. So I'm gonna give you just a few options, okay? So now you guys, when we come to that plank, when we start for the first 10, we're gonna just try to hold 
and I want you to check your forearms. So your neck is going to be in no neutral. I don't want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. I want you to open up through your back. Take your thumb and first finger and press, pull the belly button in. This all counts. You have five seconds. Squeeze your glutes. Three and two and one. Rest for a moment. Drop down to your elbows. Same thing from here. Neck in neutral. Relax through the shoulders. Pull the belly button in. Squeeze your armpits together. Don't let your low back sag. Four and three and two and one. Drop to your knees. Quick puppy pose. Hinge back. We're going to come from a down dog to a plank. So I'm going to come to those palms here. Push back, down dog. Create that nice stretch here. And then come right into that plank. Exhale. Lengthen. Keep your neck in neutral. Push back. Open up and stretch out your hamstrings. There's a string from the ceiling. Lifting and pulling your belly button up and in. Exhale. Lengthen. Four more. Squeeze your glutes. Four. Three. Two. One more, you can always hold down dog. Relax back down, push back child's pose. Now I'm gonna to come to my elbows and repeat that with the dolphin. On the elbows, plank, dolphin. Don't come up and out of your shoulders here. Lift up your hips. Three, lift up your hips. Four, drop your Top of your head to the floor. Lift up your hips to the ceiling. Exhale. Seven. Squeeze. Eight. Squeeze. Nine. One more. And 10. Drop it down again. Puppy pose. Take a great big breath in. Inhale. And exhale. On my palms one more time. This time, crouching tiger. So I have that modified plank here. I'm going to take that deep breath in and hold. So one, two, three. Belly button right into the spine. Five, seven, and nine. And rest it. Elbows, same idea. Nice deep breath in. Half of an inch from the floor. One, three, five, seven, pull the belly button in, nine, and rest it again, puppy pose. That is six, you guys. Now, as we come back up into that high plank, I'm gonna jack it out. If it doesn't work, I will step tap. Exhale, deep breath in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, neck in neutral, 4, 3, 2, 1, relax it again, push back, drop to the elbows, here we go, 10, 4, 10, 9, 8, too much, you can stay up if it's easier, 5, 4, Three, two, one, drop it again, relax it. Last 20, as I come up here, alternate. Leg lift, one, two, three, too much hold, four, five, drop to the knee if you need to, six, seven, Eight, keep your feet close. Nine, one more both sides. Child pose. You guys are so close, this is it. We have one more time from the elbows. Alternate leg lifts, I can do it from my knees. One, two, squeeze your buns. Three, exhale as you lift, four. Keep your neck in neutral. Five, exhale, six. We're so close, you guys. Seven, squeeze and lift, eight. 
This is it, nine. One more both sides, 10. And last. Drop down, really lengthen your spine. If you're standing forward hinge, take your right arm, reach it underneath and look to your left. Create that nice space in the spine. Inhale and exhale. Great job, you guys. Way to stay with me. Switch to the other side now. Reach it under. Take a big breath in. We're going to come to that pretzel stretch. So I'm going to come all the way down here to the mat. And then I'm going to take my left knee and lift it up 90 degrees. So left knee is coming up 90. The right palm is going to rotate with up. And then I'm going to open up to the ceiling. I can stay right here. Can use my right hand to grab onto my left knee. Left hand to grab onto the right knee and then open. All of this is optional. Lift up the knee as high as you can. Create that nice space through the shoulders, through the quadriceps and the hip. Remember, if it doesn't work, you just stay open. You relax the legs right where they feel best. Maybe the number four stretch is better for you. Take that nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. You're going to draw back over. Release back to the elbow. And now I'm going to lift up that right knee 90 degrees. Left palm up. Rotate right palm over. Left grabs onto the right knee. And then open up and grab onto that foot. Take a nice deep breath in, you guys. Open up through the shoulders and the chest. Up to you how much range of motion that spine has. So you meet yourself right where you need to. Take a great big breath in, you guys. I'm going to release here again. Rotate over. And then I'm just going to pop up on the elbows. And roll the neck, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. If I feel comfortable taking my palms underneath my shoulders, I'm going to squeeze the glutes, pinch in nice and close here, and then open, upward facing dog, creating that space here. The turtle is lifting out of its shell. I want to squeeze my glutes. I don't want to compress the spine. I want to reach up. Don't let your shoulders sink. Drop that energy back either into puppy pose, hip tie, head low, or sink the energy back into child's pose and relax your hips with a gentle side to side. Nice deep breath in. Walk your hands to the left. Walk your hands to the right. Take your hands back to the middle. Push from here back into downward facing dog. Allow your head to be heavy. Press through the thumb and the first finger. And bicycle, taking left heel, right heel to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to walk my feet out wider here if I can. And then take a moment and reach my right hand towards the left foot and then the left towards the right. Two more times back and forth. Create that nice opening space. If it doesn't work, I'm in forward bend. One more time. Reach for it and switch it. And then I'm just going to walk the hands and stay right into that forward bend. So head, neck, and shoulders relaxed. I can grab on here to the quads, the hands, relax the head, neck, and the shoulder. Gently reach for the back of the head. Gentle tuck. Feel that nice open. Create that space through the spine without yanking. Interlace at the elbow, tiny circles. Three, two, one, rewind the circle. Three, 
two, one. Drop your hips. If you have a chair and you want to have a seat on it, you can. Go ahead from here and cross and take that left arm and roll here through your wrist. Rewind it. Other side, bring it across, hook into it, roll the wrist and rewind. Let's take three big breaths, you guys, and finish it strong. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, spread the wings and sweep. Again, one more time. Now I'm gonna draw the arms all the way up and come right down to the center. Relax the hands on the heart and gently bow the head. Now I'm 